Pino Black, folks, and pay attention to this when you can go to Solar Artists, and we like those artists, Solar IMG, and they get all the taxpayer paid for satellite action, NASA, and other countries that take care of paying for all our satellite action in space and everything like that. And IE, watch my last video. Ralph Black is my name, and basically everything ties in, but the idea that we're trying to get more viewers and to blow Karasov's ass for the idea that they're putting all of our space information in the back shelves, folks. They're hiding our videos, okay? So there's lately been a lot of YouTube BS going on because if I ever accept any money for advertising, it'll be at my pirate site, okay, where they'll have all the copyright 100%, okay. Now, they made this the government did or whatever control because they didn't want me to send out the idea of Lovejoy and the idea that something by Mercury was on fire or bigger or whatever. Okay. And also the idea that well, I might have a theory on electrical that the idea that it maybe was Lovejoy, they could be correct, but we still don't know for sure because we're going to keep on seeing Lovejoy. Okay. Where the hell is it? Okay. Because we hit, no one's given us any shots of Lovejoy after going away from Soho, okay? So we still think that more than likely it's Mercury. So watch these videos and the idea that they didn't let me, you can see right there, they didn't let that go because the idea that it's the truth. There's fair use and copyright infringement bullshit going on. Kerasoft is a private corporation. It's not the government, ladies and gentlemen. They do a great job on the military side. We love everything that they do. A civilian, being on us civilians, it's against our constitutional rights. Kerasoft is BS. Okay, spy on spies, not American citizens, tax-paying citizens. So whatever's kissing my butt right now, Kerasoft or government ops or whatever the hell, is the idea, here you go, i.e., you can map out everything that's around Earth, okay, Earth, Earth. You can check out where stereo A and B is every day when you look at your magnetism that's going through space from the solar blasts and also the supergiants, okay? When they show you these EMTs coming in, it's also EMTs from the supergiants, ladies and gentlemen, i.e., okay, the idea the supergiants are out there, folks, okay, out here. It's, not, it's a lot more than just the sun giving you those EMTs, okay? So there's your current axis moving. It's crazy because it was way right before. So we're getting a lot of movement. There's what your moon will look like because you're man in the moon pretty much right now. We all know what that looks like. There's your weakness for earthquakes today. Earthquakes have been going on. You've seen that in the last video. And so we have got more brightness on Soho because they heard, they seen the last video, okay? They don't like the super giant info getting out, okay? So more than likely Mercury, and then check that triangulation of whatever, okay? With Mercury or whatever super giant's material, and the idea that you can see it's a little darker over here, so we know that super giants are back there, okay? And then I see here, here pretty much too, you can see where the idea that you can still tell what it was and match it up. And I'll pull up Soho 3 and we'll talk about that. And basically down here at Niermeyer, you, you can see the basically what is comparable to M22, which is mass 22. They always call it M22 that's in front of the sun. Now, this is not absolutely the sun, okay? But it is what they always call the baby blue Kachina and the uh, brown dwarf star that comes up in front of Rigel Canteris B because you can't miss it. It gets impregnated just like a movie screen right on the side of right on the side of the Nehemiah station, okay? You can see it right there, okay? The brown dwarf star, it's there, folks, okay? It's in front of Rigel Canteris B, okay? So if you want to call that brown dwarf star Nibiru, go ahead. It's not Nibiru, okay? And if it is, then it's going to end up hitting, <laughs> but it's not. Rigel Canteris B is a hell of a long ways away, folks, okay? And you can see the brown dwarf and the blue, baby blue Kachina that gets illuminated off of it between the two objects because it's in triangulation. And there might be more than one. It's kind of like a moon, but it's a, it's a star, okay? But we ended up with the moon because the Earth was a star one, at one time, okay? So there might be more than that, but we get illumination from that. And I will go to the other plow in a second and play that. For anybody that hasn't seen this kind of footage before, 
and you will see also the black terahydrons, tetrahydrons. Uh, I call them terahydrons because they do hit the ground, okay? And we do pretty much know that more than likely they call, cause earthquakes, I mean, I mean volcanoes and possibly earthquakes. Okay, there's the object that goes by, and the, and the British yesterday took it out of their photos down there at the British station, if you notice on the last video I made. Okay, so this is just, I'm just letting this play for so the idea you can see the action from the Neumeyer station. There you go, there's the deal. So the idea, there you go. And I think the date, it might be the two day span, but so same action. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to the other. So I'm going to let this one play, folks, and like in the last one, but the idea that I'm just going to stop it here in a second. And because the most important thing is the this terahydrin comes in in a try today, and it basically hits here and here. It just hit over there. Okay, and there was a dark shadow. I got to catch that. Okay, and there's the shadow that comes in just before the video starts. Okay, with I mean before you get the 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 3D action of what's in front of Rigel Canteris B. Okay. And yesterday's, and I'm going to try to be, see if the next video or so, or this one, if, if I can pull a picture out where it actually shows the three separate shadows yesterday's. And here's this triangulation. You can see it right there, the three whites, okay? And then that one is there and off and on. I mean, it kind of it comes in and out. But I'm going to get you the terahydrons, and then that was that up there, and also this here, okay? So you can see a lot of stuff if you take a look at the video, okay? Okay, here's our first terahydron comes in. Bam, that's not a human, okay, gone, right, okay, now watch the other one show up, now this is a marker they've got, and I'm starting to wonder if this is a marker or if this is just something from space that's getting dark light, okay, pay attention to the clock, and then right here, you'll see your time, and then, oh, Miss Cute, I hit the play button, there you go, there's another one, and then it's over here, and it's in triangulation with that, and the, we, they have that set up down there. That's a marker that they have. Now, I'm wondering if this is a marker that they've got new that I haven't seen before or not. Okay, but we do know that that's a marker that they've put out there before, okay? So, bam, terahydrons, and maybe they're mapping them out. Who knows? But these are straight up popping in and out of the video, folks, okay? They're not walking out there setting this stuff there. It's there. It's popping in from the sky, touching the ground, terahydrons, folks. Terra meaning terra firma. And all of our closest passes with most all satellites with uh, even our space station, okay, the International Space Station or, you know, other, other countries too. Thank you, other countries. But it, it, the idea, here you go with, i.e., the BS of Phobos Grunt. Phobos grunt, okay? It's covering up for asteroids and stuff that are hitting the ground. Now, this thing might hit the ground. Maybe it's screwed up. But if you pay attention to what news companies put on there, that footage, it was the worst. Uh, there used to be the flicks of uh, King Kong fighting uh, the the deal over there in the one country that gave us the Fuka fudge up, the uh, Godzilla, okay? Godzilla and whatever would fight. Godzilla would fight whatever, okay? Well, it's BS possibly now. Phobos might end up hitting the ground because, but it's looking at a bunch of stars that's coming back because I can go and in the future, if anybody requests, and I can show you all the stars that it's going by and it's getting some damn good shots, I'm figuring. So the idea that it might hit the ground, hit the earth, but they called it back, okay? So it's a bunch of BS because everything ends up in the same area, folks. This is the east coast of, yes, the east coast of Africa, folks, and they blinked in and took my notepad away to cover up the advertising is pretty much where you can get your only place on earth you're going to get to see a view of these of uh, the international space station and so forth and so i mean you can see the satellites going you you can follow the track find out the tracks of them and see where they're going by to get a little bit of view but the only way you'd be able to get an eye view would be the idea of being over on the east coast of africa so keep in mind this is today's star map and everything and, and you got mass 22 that's in front of the sun now this straight line which will show you uh a and B, Soho A and B, okay? Normally, I, f I believe that's correct. And anyway, straight, either that or Earth is here or here. Or Earth is here or here. So the idea that you go ahead and go to artists. We love artists because they let us see this map, which will show you the Earth is here. And then we've got stereo B and stereo A, okay? And uh, the sun is right there, I believe. Yeah, it has to be because the Earth is there. So... 
they still are not giving us a direct shot from Earth on the front and ahead of the sun. It's just that it's ahead of the sun and it's got to stay out of the supergiants here because the sun is going into the supergiants. And as you see, yes, that comes in on us, okay? That is the CMT action, okay? So there's no way of them, I mean, they kind of somewhat cover up because basically we have this big CMT action and it comes around, right? Well, it's more than just the sun. It gets even bigger back here. And it flares and hits with the other solar flares of the supergiants, and it comes in. The supergiants exist, ladies and gentlemen. And we know that Mercury is pretty much caught on fire before and probably is again because they're trying to cover it up by putting a box around it to make it look like a satellite. Well, Mercury's right there, folks, and that's Mercury, okay? So more than likely, Mercury is probably caught in a flash and is on fire. It's so close that it should not ever be inhabited. There's probably certain times if the sun wasn't, we'd probably be able to sometime in space be able to get on there. Uh, but pretty much uninhabitable because it's too damn close, okay? So, and yes, there's other objects that have been found in the safe zone somewhere pretty much out here because Jupiter and Venus are safe, okay? And I believe this is Jupiter's line here, isn't it? Or, or do they have, are they showing us Jupiter? And yes, when people call in and say asteroid belts and this and that and everything like there's a lot of stuff melding. Milky Way galaxy is melding because the sun is ours in the Milky Way galaxy and the supergiants and asteroid belts. And yes, everything's melding. Everybody's freaking. Are we going through a black hole? The scientists really are. They're not going to say it, but they are kind of freaking. They want to know what the hell. And then also at the same time, they wonder, okay, are we going to go? Are We're going to follow the sun. We are going to go in the supergiants. It's got magnetical pull on us, okay? So it's going to be interesting, the idea of lifespan of the sun and so forth and so on. And we end up with Rigo Cantaris B as being our sun as we go back through stereo play. But the idea that the sun is still the center of the Milky Way galaxy. So what the hell is actually going on? Because the supergiants exist. So interesting V action here also, folks. If I blew that up, matter of fact, I'll blow that up real fast. And notice how we get the line here because Kerasoft's watching what I'm videotaping. Yes, they would watch the videotapes. They're ahead of us on time when we do our taping. So now, let's zoom into that. And this is the dark black halo that you end up getting down at the Antarctica and possibly on Earth too. That's what that chemtrail was in that chemtrail video. And there you go, you see the V in the action and something's smacking into the sun, isn't it? All the stuff in the supergiants that smacks into the sun, smacks into the sun. So there's a, there's a shot of the sun that you're not gonna see from anybody else. Bino Black will give it to you. There you go, big old circular splat. You can see the circular I don't have to point it to you. It'll just mess it up by lo looking at it as they try to make my cursor work too damn fast. But there you go. Yep, interesting shot of the sun, ladies and gentlemen. We want to thank the Navy and the United States Air Force and all of our armed forces as they give us that shot. All right. So I'm going to try to zoom in on these tetrahydrons, terahydrons. Okay, and you can see the halo around them. And just like they, that halo of stars went around the Nehemiah Station, folks, which was real freaky. We'll give you that shot. And you'll never forget this shot, folks. There you go. Totally wild, folks. Totally wild shot there. Okay, don't ever forget that one. That really happened, ladies and gentlemen. And that's what's worrying these folks. Now, let me check this out. This is ISISAT 2 that's going to be put up in 2015. Okay. Now, if anybody's ever been to L.A. and from there to San Francisco, to Las Vegas or Las Vegas to L.A., you know where this that Spook Works hangar there, folks. Okay, there's Spook Works. Okay, checking the ice, see about the melting. Okay, you see that action they're doing? Radar back and forth and up and down. Check this out. So what's spooking the scientists is if there's something out in space radaring us and finding out where everything's sitting at. You see what I'm saying? And I.E., I'm kind of joking, folks, but they could scare the shit out of anybody. Who knows, you know, the Senate, the arms community, who, you know, freaking them out, thinking that we're getting mapped by some foreign this or that. You see what I'm saying? Triangulation, you see? So everybody can pull shit. So 400% on the terahydrant to the left, and I'm going to go to the south. This is near Meyer Station, the one to the left, blowing up 1,000%. Triangulation, GPS, folks. There's a shadow to the right blowing up to 750 there's the station, and there's blown that terahydrin blown up to 400%, and we'll go to 1,000. There's that terahydrin blown up to 1,000%, let me show you a picture. That was that right there. It wasn't a human, folks, and let's blow the front one. There's enough time to show you the left one with the clock down here. Watch the clock down here. See that? 1620. 
Most important one, a black terahydrant from space, folks. That's a pointer. Is it radar? <laughs> I'm laughing on that, but what the hell? Blown up 400%, 1,000 next. There's the spear. Grab. They spades. More later.